Hugging the post is a basic skill goaltenders need to master as soon as they begin to play goal. Every year, dozens of goals are given up because of poor technique when the goaltender is hugging the post. Even goaltenders in the NHL get caught napping and let in a goal from behind the goal line. If the goaltender hugs the post properly, a goal can never be scored. Blake's chest faces to center. His stick is placed to cut down passes. His skate is jammed to the post and he takes quick looks to the slot for dangerous players. CJ seals up the glove side post, but like many young goalies, leans a little too much weight on the post. By spreading the legs a little to support your stance, you'll be able to drive to the top of the crease more easily. Parker has the side of his skate tightly jammed to the post, sealing off any openings. His stick is set to break up passes and his glove is used to anchor him to the post. Scott demonstrates his stick range from the paddle and how the glove can be used to snag aerial pucks heading for danger in the slot. He also takes quick looks off the puck to find potential dangerous players in front. On the blocker side, CJ really seals up the post and puts his stick in a decent position to break up any passes. Parker's stick is square to the puck, even when behind the goal line, and his glove is prepared to grab any saucer passes that may come within range. His body faces towards center so he doesn't give the man in the corner anything to bank the puck in off. A key area to look at is the hole created at the knee bend. There can't be any daylight here, as many smart players will try to luck out and throw one through any opening, if you don't achieve a good seal on the post. Keeks Keys Keep your chest facing center ice, because that is where the shot will eventually come from. Seal up the post with your skate and post side leg. Take quick looks to the slot to find dangerous players.